Serious, Redditors who found a secret passage, tunnel, or room. What's your story? I found a room in the back of a closet at my parents' house when I was a kid. It was essentially a kid-sized hole cut in drywall that led to a small room under the stairs leading to the basement. None of us had known it was there. The room was all concrete. With some 2x4s stretching across the ceiling and others acting as supporting beams for the stairs, I'm assuming. Totally empty. But it was covered in graffiti from the previous owners. And that's how I learned about curse words. There was a teeny coralline like door in my bedroom closet that was hidden when the regular door was opened and against the wall. It led to a finished attic room that I'd hide in to scare my parents. I didn't mention the room's existence until we had lived there for a couple years and then they stole it for storage space. Typical parents. Stealing cool hidden rooms for damn storage. Edit. Holy FCK. All my other comments have 1-5 upvotes. And there's one with 24. All of a sudden I write a comment that gets 4000 plus upvotes. Thanks. We found a secret room in my aunt's house. Behind the kitchen cabinets when they were being swapped out. It was this walled off area between the unexpectedly wide chimney and the outside wall. Big enough for maybe 3 adults to stand in somewhat uncomfortably. The weirdest part is that it was all painted red. Floor. Ceiling. Walls. Everything. Yeah. Painted. The landing on the staircase going upstairs was hinged. If you opened it you could drop into the area below the staircase. From there you could open a door in the wall which leads down into the basement. In theory you could act as if you were going upstairs from the main floor and go though the above. Get into the basement and escape the house from the basement door. Edit. A little more info. This house is in upstate NY and dated back easily into the 1920s or earlier 1895. Possibly we thought it was some underground railroad stuff or possibly prohibition related. We did find old bottles of liquor in the walls when we remodeled and it fit the timeline better than the slavery did. One of the tractor drivers in the farm whilst plowing fell into a hole. Suddenly appeared beneath one of the tires. Turned out it was a series of tunnels dug by a Canadian tunneling company, as in army unit, practicing here in England for the invasion of Germany. A whole network of tunnels hidden beneath us all kept secret. Sorry. I was going to spend the night with a friend whose mother was a real estate agent. Before we went to his place we had to go to this old Victorian house his mother was going to show the next day and she wanted to do a few things while there. My friend and I went exploring and found a secret servant's hallway that was tucked behind the interior walls. There was only one door that led to the attic area where the servants quarters were at. I remember seeing where a bell assortment hung that went to each room of the house. It was long gone. But the stained glass was still there. I love that secret room and plan on making one if I ever build a house. My freshman year at my university I got stupid drunk. 2013. And decided to go into this cafeteria that had been closed for a year at that point. It had just a thin metal gate preventing anyone from entering. Well I pulled on it a little and it snapped. Allowing entrance. It was cool being in this cafeteria that nobody had been in it. But it got better. I found how to get into the basement. This basement lead to a corridor that I later found out is one. Five miles of underground tunnels. I did some exploring but a lot of it was flooded and just smelt of decay and rot. Found some coke bottles from the 1950s. After I did some research on the history I found out I stumbled into the condemned tunnels of the university that was used to transport things between buildings. A hurricane had rolled through in the 80s and flooded a large portion of the tunnels and damaged it. The university decided it was easier to just not use them than to repair them. Pretty cool thinking I was probably one of the only people to step foot in there within the past 30-ish years. I moved into a house with my friend, was an old Victorian house complete with a basement. I'm in the UK. Went down to put some furniture there and checked it out two carpeted rooms with old junk in it and then some bricks on the floor from the wall. Look at the wall and there's a hole in there. Just big enough for me to fit through it a squeeze. Dirt sloped down into a huge high ceiling room. 
complete with a shelf with a sleeping bag and duvet on. The room had been soundproofed. Had electricity and water in it. With a huge closed off fireplace, floor to ceiling, in it. Only way in and out of the room was the hole I crawled through. Didn't freak me out too much. Figured I was underneath next door's house, but the duvet bothered me. Lived there for a year with no problems though. Not really a secret secret. But we have a hidden room in our house. If you open the closet door in my office. There is another door on the back wall that leads to a room. It was going to be our spy headquarters but now it just holds boxes. I'm kinda upset that it's not a spy headquarters. I went to a military school in New Mexico that had been around for a really long time. The place looks like an old fort. Anyway. Senior year we are messing around in the Sally port, wrestling, shoving, whatever, just being idiots. One of us slams into a green door and it popped open. In the 4 years I had been there, I had never really thought about those doors. Nor had I seen anyone use them. The door opened to a spiral. Metal staircase that went down into the darkness. Cobwebs abound. Long story short. It was a creepy. Musty. Old storage area. I don't remember if the catacombs went the whole perimeter of the barracks or what. But I know we explored pretty fully, found some old furniture. Some clothing bedding. And some other dated items. Most likely just things various cadets had left behind in their room. I think I took an expired fire extinguisher that was in some forgotten corner of the area. PL. Doctor found an old. Old maintenance tunnel and took a fire extinguisher that would likely only make the situation worse. I used to live in downtown Greenville. TX in the 1990s. Greenville used to be a thriving cotton town in the 1950s. But the population has declined and downtown is mostly abandoned. My friends and I used to explore the abandoned buildings for fun before urban exploring became a thing. Anyway. There was a multi-story building that used to have a Mexican restaurant downstairs in the 1970s. But it had been abandoned since then. The bottom of that building was locked up tight. But we were able to gain access to the roof from a neighboring building. And finally got inside that building that way. Inside were some old offices. Nothing much of interest there. But then I noticed a crack in the wall behind some peeling wallpaper. There was a door sized sliding panel that had been papered over decades before. Behind it was an apartment that would have been used as housing by the people who owned the business downstairs. And it was largely untouched, I found newspapers from the 1940s and the last one was dated 1947. My husband and I bought a 100 plus year old farmhouse. It needed to be refurbished. It was the biggest undertaking that I've ever done. We peeled up the carpet to find asbestos tile. Joy. Then we peeled up the tile to find laminate. Woot. Then we peeled up the laminate to find wood floors. Holy sh tea. And not just a wood floor. A f king trap door in the kitchen. I thought that was super freaking cool. It was extremely water damaged having been right next to the kitchen sink. But we pried that sucker open to find. The coal room. There's still coal down there. A few tons of it. I don't know why that hatch was there. There's no stairway leading down but we found a tiny door in the basement behind a cabinet and it also led to the coal room. I assume back in the day they burnt coal. Eventually we plan to make it into cold storage with a stairway and I'll just be able to walk down from the hatch I rebuilt all by myself. I used to rent a house that had a fake electrical panel in the basement. Behind the panel was steel door that led to a panic room of sorts. Built into a hill. The room also had a toilet and shower. Along with the shop sink. There were fans that blew fresh air into the room from pipes leading outside. There was a huge 3D topographic map of the surrounding area on one wall. All of the electrical for the room was powered directly from the solar panels on the roof. The panic room had a secret panel of its own in one wall that led to a tunnel. Culvert, lined with ribbon lights. The tunnel led to a false floor in the garage. So you could make your escape. The guy who built the house was a Y2K nut. My old high school was built in the 1800s. 
It is a very beautiful building that is 4 stories tall. There are lots of stairs throughout the building and near one corner of the building are stairs that no one ever uses, very far from all classrooms. During my senior year my buddy and I were wasting time just wandering the hallways and we got to these seldom used stairs. We were on the bottom floor and noticed there were stairs leading down to another level below. We followed those stairs. And noticed they lead to a door which was cracked open. We went inside the door. And it lead to a large room filled with cubicles and dozens of employees on computers. The weird thing was. None of these employees were school staff. We were seniors. We'd seen everyone for 4 years. We were confused and we left. We tried to return a few times later but the door leading to the room was always locked. This was in 2006. And I still wonder who the hell all those people were. I went down into the construction site under my religious college and went through the tunnels marked with radiation shelter signs. Then I came up into an actual abandoned chapel with an altar. The whole way to the cafeteria went right by it but there was no way to get in anymore. Secret passage here to an underground storm bunker. Dallas can get some intense storms so I had one installed. Keeps enough provisions for 4 people for 7 days. I moved here less than a year ago. Yesterday was the worst storm I've experienced in my whole life. Besides flooding. I was pretty shaken up. A tornado was spotted in Grand Prairie and headed in the general direction of my home. The alarms were blaring for 20 minutes outside. And my phone gave me multiple notifications to take cover. I'm perplexed by nobody having basements here. How are you able to have an underground storm bunker but not a basement? I'm sure they're constructed differently. But could you not build a basement like you would an underground storm bunker? I have a beach house in Rhode Island. There is an old World War II bunker right next to the beach and all the main entrances are blocked off. There is also a decor house a few hundred yards away. It was meant to look like an old weathered house but was more like two pillboxes stacked up. Inside the decoy house's basement there was a hole with a later going down it into tunnels that lead to the bunker. There are also many more tunnels that go for miles all over the coast to other bunkers and such who just come out in random places although most of them are locked. Me and my friends found them a few years back and not we still use them as hangout spots every summer it's a great time. The bunker is huge probably around 8-10,000 square feet all under a giant hill and it has many blocked off tunnels and paths inside. To this day it's one of the darkest coolest places I have ever been. Did construction work and was often sent out of town for jobs. The company would cover the hotel and food. In Northern California. Perhaps San Leandro. There was a hotel right off the freeway. The closet had a staircase that would lead you upon to an attic to where you could see in the people's rooms. Shady as FCK. I did not go up there. A co-worker did. Right. So when I lived in South Carolina we had this house that had dormer windows. I was young. Didn't own the home. I was a preteen. I didn't know the ins and outs of the house. But it was always a mystery as to how to get to the windows. I had an upstairs room. And where the window access should have been was walled in. Or so I thought. Turns out there was a hidden hinge door. A push away wall panel. I found this by leaning against it and falling through. The passageway led to the dormer window. Storage area. With a chest I never opened. And cut across the hole upstairs to the other bedroom which had the same thing. WTF. You had a chest in a mysterious room that was closed by a hidden door and you're telling me you didn't open it? Besides the possibility of valuable treasure, duh. Its contents could have had awesome historical contents. Super cool though. I used to work at Subway, yes was I was a sandwich artist, in Newcastle. UK. Anyway the shop was just up from Castle Keep. Downstairs next to the freezers was this open hole of rubble. So dark you couldn't see into it very far. I was too scared to go down and didn't have a torch but apparently it is connected to a series of tunnels underneath the city. I worked as an intern for the architecture and engineering department at uni and was assigned to work on a survey to make sure that the blueprints were accurate for every building. 
I get through maybe 80% of the work and then I have to go to the army ROTCHQ on campus to do the survey. No big deal. Everything in the office was correctly represented on the blueprints. But the guy working the desk told me that there was a hallway behind the office. So he takes me back there and opens the door to a hallway full of dust. Cobwebs and high windows on the right that disappear a few feet and as the building is built on a hill. Dutifully. I go forward into the darkness. I can't remember if I didn't have a flashlight or what. But I went in there and all I could think was that I was going to find a body or something. So I just said that the blueprints were right and got the FCK out of there. Definitely something you'd see in a horror movie. My manager found a secret room in his basement. Apparently there was a little window into this room covered by a large painting when they purchased the house. Inside of the room were random objects such as a refrigerator, a sled, a filing cabinet, and just a bunch of things. There was no door to this room and the window was too small to fit any of the stuff through it. Which means the person who put the stuff in there built the walls around it. We are all convinced he needs to dig up the floor since it's gravel and broken concrete unlike the tile in the rest of the basement. There's definitely a body in there. When me and my brother were kids we found a floor hatch in his room. It was hidden under the linoleum and really tightly shut. But we managed to get it open. Underneath was a flight of stairs leading to a single room with cement walls and nothing in it except a bed frame and a small table. The realtor who sold our family the house had no idea it existed. And neither had the people who lived there before us. Or anyone else we asked. Still don't know why it was hidden or what it was for. The house is from the 1930s. My child brain at the time assumed it was where the garden gnomes lived. My high school was originally an all boys training academy for Canadian soldiers during World War 1. There was a tunnel built before the war under the school that connected it to other parts of downtown. Apart from the crazy high levels of asbestos. It is the home of dozens of piles of folders. Records and letters all documenting the lives of World War 1 soldiers who trained at my school and ended up dying in World War 1. It is quite spectacular and the tunnel itself is supposedly many kilometers long and super scary. My great uncle lived in a pretty larger house that had been connected in hiding fleeing slaves. He said he had looked around a lot but could never find anything. Basically one day my mom and I had gone over and we were helping with a renovation and tearing up some walls and we found a pretty large hole in the wall leading to a cement wall which was in the basement. There used to be a room in the basement right where that wall was when my mom's cousins had inherited the house. Could totally have housed runaways. Edit. Just my great uncle. We found a doorway behind our refrigerator. No fun story though. The previous owner remodeled the kitchen and changed where the stairs to the basement are located. Instead of covering the doorway with drywall. They put cabinets in the fridge in front of it. When I was 10 years old. I found a secret panel in new house we moved into. It had like 10 years of playboys. Not so much a secret room. But more connections between closets. As kids. I siblings and I figured out that the closets in our basement were all connected. They were all in the same corner and the contractor had just never bothered to wall them off. Why not? They're just storage. This led to some very creative games of hide and seek. And also the ability to steal soda and ice creams from the spare fridge. Which my parents kept in an otherwise locked closet. It took them years to figure out that we were getting in from the laundry and the toy closet. Kind of not exciting but for a bunch of rowdy kids. Very fun. It made laser tag super fun because it let us move between rooms and sneak up on each other. When I was a kid. My neighbors and I would play in houses that were under construction in our neighborhood. One house. I noticed that the area under the back staircase had been closed off by bookshelves. Then I pushed on one and realized there was now a hidden room there. I never got to go in after the place was finished. But I guess that family has a panic room. Or just a little hidey hole.